watching Haligonia Sports on Haligonia.ca. So I hear uh, Don't Stop Believing in there uh, playing. Uh, what's the uh, theme with you guys these days? Uh, well, after every win, we kind of put on a nice theme song to get the boys going. Just keep the tradition, stay happy after the games, you know, just have fun. Three-game winning streak right now at home. How are you guys feeling right now? Feeling good. We're going to come down with the same mindset, play better first and second and against Bridgewater. Um, and hopefully come up with another win too tomorrow. I'm just trying to bring hard work, uh, keep the boys going on the bench, hitting, scoring if I have to, trying to, just doing all the things coach says to do. You know, we just want to make an impression on other teams, blowing the most, trying to put as many points up on the scoreboard as we can. To, so if we come down on other teams, they'll be like, they will try to think that they're going to walk all over offense. Um, he's a strong guy. He knows how to play the game, and he moves the puck. He knows what the thing is do. around going to the dressing room is that we'll, we will make playoffs. We're going to knock Bridgewater out. You know, they're, they're good, but we're better. I know. I guess scoring goals right now is, uh, doesn't seem to be that difficult for our guys. Uh, I can take the last two games, the 5-2 against Amherst and 10-2 against Campbellton, but uh, tonight was even a little little difficult to swallow even with the 5-2 win over uh, Dieppe. But, you know, I, I said to our guys, we're up 3-0, I think, after one. It easily could have been 6-7-0, but uh, we still, it was probably the worst period we played all year. So sometimes it's hard to change their behavior when they're being rewarded for it and having success for it. So. Um, you know, I told them that if we play that way against Bridgewater tomorrow night, it's going to be a 5-2 loss for us. So hopefully we can uh, make it. You know, he's just a 17-year-old kid that, uh, you know, is kind of technically still a midget guy and, and considered playing midget this year. Um, but we're, we're slowly trying to get him some confidence, get him some opportunities. And tonight, when, you know, a lot of times you get a lead early and then you, your guys aren't playing so well, I thought it was an opportunity to play him a little on the penalty kill a little bit on the power play. And when he plays physical for a small guy, he's kind of a bit of a, like a rat mentality. And if he plays that style, I think he'll be very successful. <laughs> he's a little bit out of shape. I think, you know, some guys, he, he looks like he comes out of a, a beer league team or something like that. But I think if, if he does, uh, if he takes his opportunity here seriously and, and maybe sheds a few pounds, gets himself in some shape, I think he could be a very dangerous player in the future. And, uh, yeah, like he's been interesting to watch. So. You know, it's it, Kyle was kind of getting a little bit of in a rut, and uh, probably four or five, four games ago, I I sat him out, and I think for a guy that's played some major junior, that's a bit of a shot to his ego. And I guess my way of showing to him that I still think he's a good player, and and it's not like a. You know, not a hatred to him, it's, you know, I thought I'd reward him with kind of putting him on a line with the, the new guy we brought in, and Brendan Taylor, um, and, and right off the bat they were clicking, and, uh, you know, Kyle can finish, and, and Brendan Taylor can set up plays, so I think it's a good combination. Yeah, you always look forward to the opportunity like that, but, you know, I think, you know, we got to take things in steps, and, you know, let's worry about Bridgewater and some teams in our own division before we start worrying about teams like Woodstock. And I, and I think if we do well against some of these teams that are just above us in the standings, then you know, maybe we can uh, worry about a team. Well, like it's kind of a mix. You know, like there's there's games that we've played great and we stole points in that I never thought we would. And then there's games we've blown two points or blown a point in games that I don't think we should. So uh, I think at the end of the day, it kind of all equals itself out. And you know, I think tomorrow is kind of a... You know, not necessarily a milestone, but something for us to look forward to. If it's, uh, it can make us 10 and 10, gives us our 10th win. And uh, last year's Halifax Lions finished with 10 wins. So, you know, we said to the guys, if, uh, if I can look at ourselves, no matter how we got here, if I can, uh, on December 4th, say we surpassed last year's total in, in wins, um, that's something to be proud of and step back and just enjoy ourselves. And, you know, and also getting ourselves to 5-5 five and, five and over the basements, uh, also another good feat for this time. Of year.